for joining us this evening. Tonight we start though with border troubles. Some folks living in Mecklenburg and Union counties could soon find themselves in a different county. Confusion on where the county lines lie has leaders looking into discrepancies in county maps and the findings could result in the change of hundreds of addresses. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman is in a neighborhood the mix up could affect. In this neighborhood, the start of this sidewalk means the start of Mecklenburg County and the end to Union County. But inconsistencies in how boundaries are drawn could mean people that live on this side may also end up living in Mecklenburg County. Common sense tells me it doesn't make any sense. Stallings Mayor Wyatt Dunn lives on Shannamara Drive. He's confused why staff members are bringing up an issue he says was resolved in 2001. People in Union County want to stay in Union County. I don't know what the Mecklenburg County folks, but uh, we're going to fight this. And uh, it just, um, it's no, it's no, uh, there's no reason to change the line. His neighborhood runs along the divide in town, meaning the name of this golf club and literally the county boundaries. He worries the change would push him and his neighbors into Mecklenburg. I live on the Mecklenburg County side, at least for now. Tish Brown says if the line goes the other way to favor Union, she wouldn't mind. My taxes would go down, so that would be okay. Changing counties also affects your school, who you vote for, and your emergency services. It's unclear how the line will be redrawn. Mecklenburg County Assessor Ken Joyner says both counties and the state are using slightly different boundaries, meaning the discrepancies weren't resolved 20 years ago. Trying to figure out what is the best course of action for our county, Union County, to do the same process <coughs> and, and try to determine if we agree with the state line or if we want to take a different course of action. When asked why this is being debated, Joyner says this. I don't think either county is, is trying to get more tax money or um, get more houses or anything like that. It's just trying to resolve an uncertain boundary so that 20 years from now, it won't come back up again. Town and county leaders say they're looping in state officials for help and will create a map that shows the lines and which properties are affected. Installings Julia Kaufman, WCNC Charlotte.